How are you? I'm very good, thank you. You are, estoy muy bien, gracias, dice. What made you decide to come to Paraguay? ¿Qué te hizo decidir venir a Paraguay? Um, they came into contact with my agent like two weeks ago. And obviously it was difficult, a difficult decision to make in my life. And uh, after talking to, to the president, after talking to Roque Santa Cruz, who was my old teammate in Manchester City. And uh, yes, and obviously I got a lot of uh, DM on my social media from, um, from Paraguay fans. That, make a, that play a big impact. And I talked with the president and the president's son was beside him and he said, I am his idol and he's only six years old. And that's the moment where I was touched. Bueno, está contando que primero que nada iniciaron las negociaciones, después eh, habló con su agente, habló con Roque Santa Cruz, pero fue determinante y nos dijo, Marcos Trovato primero, que le preguntemos, y dice, mi hijo, cuando yo estaba hablando con él, vino y le pidió que venga. Dijo que era un fan y está hablando de que de verdad fue una de las cosas que le hizo decidir venir a Paraguay. Besides that, um, Emmanuel, shall we call you Emma, Emmanuel, Manolito? Manolito. You, you've, you've used the hashtag Manolito already. Yes, that's how they used to call Manolito. me in, uh, when I was in Spain, yeah, Madrid. Good. So, Manolito? Is the same for me. Ok. Eh, Manolito es lo mismo. Emma, Ademayor, eh, Manolito. Um, have you heard about Olympia before? Obviously, yes, a little bit because of Roque Santa Cruz and we hear how he's doing good in this country and the football. Apart from Olympia, I, I will not lie, I didn't know anything about the league. I'm about to find out. O sea, no había escuchado mucho de Olympia más allá de lo que Roque Santa Cruz le había contado y ahora está para, para descubrir qué tiene que ver con la liga, con, la, con el fútbol paraguayo, este club Olimpia. How much uh, does Roque influence you to say yes? I talked to him, he told me like uh, in this country, Paraguay, people live football and breathe football. So I'm like, okay, are you guaranteed if I come everything will be fine? He said, yes, I'm taking my, I'm, I can give you my word, come, you will have a good time, you will enjoy yourself. So yeah, he played a big role en mi camino. El, el rock gigante que transmite Roque Santa Cruz, aquí se vive fútbol, se respira fútbol, alguna de las frases que le dio también Roque y por eso Emanuel está aquí. Eh, what do you think about the, the, the Olympia people? They are crazy to see you on the match. I was, on, on the field. Uh, to be honest with you, obviously I know coming to, to Paraguay is going to influence a little bit the football in this country. But I was not expecting what I'm saying now. Obviously, the love from the fans is just incredible. It's uh, from yesterday night when yeah. I landed, which is not even night, I would say in the morning, yeah. because we landed around one o'clock. We have more than 5,000 people welcoming me. It's just incredible. They could have been sleeping. They could have been, I don't know, watching a movie, but they decided to come and welcome me into this country. What I'm seeing from Olympia fans, for me, I play around the world, but so far, I think it's one of the best. Dice que eh, más allá de todo lo que vivió anoche o esta madrugada eh, esperando, la gente esperando en el Silvio Petirossi, no se esperaba. Resulta increíble. Por el horario también. Por el horario, también. pero resulta incre increíble. A ver, habiendo jugado en distintos países del mundo, él dice que igual se impresionó con la gente que fue a esperarlo claro. en la madrugada. Emanuel, um, How is it different, you leaving everything, coming to a different place from 15-year-old Emmanuel Lomé going to Mets? ¿Cómo, o sea, qué tan diferente es dejar todo para venir a un lugar tan distinto como cuando a los 15 años decidió dejar Lomé, su ciudad natal, para ir a Francia? You know, we were all born in Africa, growing up in Africa, and we have only one sport, which is football. So for me, my dream is to play football, but not to become the person I am today. I play football because I'm passionate. And uh, when I first moved to France, when I was 15, that was the toughest moment ever in my life. And uh, obviously, you know, Mays is south of France. 
No, sorry, no, not of France. It was it, very cold. I went there in the winter, so I never see winter before. <laughs> it was really, really cold. But you know, I got like teammates, I got the sports director, Francis de Tadeo. Those people really helped me to go through the winter and to believe in my dream, telling me you, can, you have the potential to be one of the best, to be among the best in the world. And um, I just followed my dream because he told me a lot of people from your country, from your continent, would like to be in your position. So you have a chance to be here today, grab it. So for me, from that moment, everything changes. So I'm gonna translate it uh, pretty soon and we appreciate this time. So this weather for you is like home. Oh, it's like home, it's perfect. Ah, I love it. We regret this weather, oh, but for you it's like home. Oh, for me I'm home, is perfect. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Uh, Thank you. Una ultima, the last ah, one. The last one. Are you going to win a cup? Listen, um, a footballer saying I'm going to win something is not a footballer. Let's take it step by step. Let's play match after match and we'll see where we reach. Okay. The target is to win it. But let's start talking about winning yes. one before the other. Thank you. I will do Thank my best. El paso a paso. Ok, y si eh, lo último que dice es paso a paso, pero antes decía eh, la primera vez que tuvo que dejar todo, que abandonar la casa, eh, aprendió que el tema es ir detrás de los sueños y eh, agarrar cada oportunidad que la vida te da. Así que eso es lo que hizo una vez más acá. Y bueno, le agradecemos a Emanuela sí. de Mayor, Manolito, Merci Lava. Merci Lava. Ah.